is Flint Long, and I'm your Boogie Woogie Piano Instructor par excellence. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I think it means I'm pretty good. Now here's middle C. I want you to put your thumb there for positioning, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna go G and B flat with two and four, C with a thumb, F and A with three and five, C with a thumb, E and G with two and four, C with a thumb, go back up. F and A with three and five, C with a thumb, G and B flat with two and four, C with a thumb. So for the right hand, we've got this, ready? Okay, now with the left hand, we're two octaves below middle C and we're going. That's that Jerry Lee Lewis pattern that I showed you in Boogie Woogie Coordination Exercise number five. If uh, you need to review this one, go back to Coordination Exercise number five, please, because I don't want to take the time right now. It's this. Every time the right hand comes down on a note, the left hand comes down on a note. So what we've got is this, real slow. I scraped off that E flat onto that E natural. That's a cool thing to do. Okay. So now when we go to the F, we're going to go. We're going to lower this index finger to E flat. Otherwise, it stays the same. you to do the same as the F. Same pattern, you're just going to lower your index finger to E flat. Let's see what it sounds like all together with all the chords. The 12 bar progression should sound like this. Okay, I couldn't resist. When I went to the F, I lowered my index finger onto that G flat too. That's kind of a cool thing to do too. So when you're on the F, you... Oh uh, yeah, it's bad. It sounds badass. I love that. Try this, go. That's the way I like it. Bluesy. All right.
right, so here's the whole thing fast. That's just E, G, E flat, G flat, D, F, C. Or if you can get that. Okay, so now we've got, now remember, you play it up here. What I did that time was I put my fifth finger on C. You see, instead of going, I went. And I highly exhort you to do the same. <laughs> I encourage you to do it that way. Do it both ways. Ready? Here we go. Even do it on the F. Here we go. Even do it on the G. One thing you can do too, you can vary them, you can alternate them. Another thing you can do is scrape off when you're on the C, it's easy to scrape off the G flat to the G natural. So you go, ready? I think that's probably enough material for today's lesson. I really want to thank you all. Thank you so much. And uh, if you have any questions, get in touch with me. Now, this is uh, coordination exercise number six, and I've got another one coming down the pipeline, too. I have a lot of really neat stuff to show you over the weeks and months ahead. And I hope you'll stay with me. Thank you for subscribing, and I love you all. Take care. Bye.